So we hold a 1-0 lead from the first leg against Manchester City. Today we've got the second leg. We just have to hold on and then we're through. Un, deux, trois. Dans les campagnes, urgir ses forces soldats. Hello and welcome back to the Money Bags. Today we're playing away to Troyes before we play away to Manchester City in the second leg of the first knockout round of the Champions League knockout stages. A bit of a mouthful that actually, which is a bit complicated, but that is essentially what we're doing today. We've played a couple of games since you were last here. Then the last time you were here, obviously, uh, Toulouse a 4-2 win and Man City a very nice 1-0 win there at the end. In between them, we played against Strasbourg, a 2-0 win there, uh, a 58th minute goal from Neymar and an own goal right at the end there for Strasbourg. It was a tough game to be fair, considering Strasbourg at 18th, we made it hard for ourselves and we didn't make it look very convincing at all. Uh, we played a very convincing game of football though against Marseille, a 3-0 win against our big rivals, which is great, uh, a really nice result to be fair, it played very, very well as you can see by the stats down here as well. Today though, we are playing bottom of a table toir and then Man City of course, because that is a big game. A look at the league table then, I do remember to show you it sometimes, and this is one of those times. Uh, we've moved up to second in the table now, uh, only a point behind Leon as we, as we were before, but uh, importantly Monaco have dropped a lot of points in the last few games, as you can see in this recent form, uh, they've lost 2-1-2 essentially in the league, so they're not doing very well for themselves. Uh, if we look down here in their actual league, they've uh, they've lost the last two league games, they won a French Cup game actually, which isn't important, but they won against Bordeaux, but it means that they are a few points behind us and we have a game in hand on them, so potentially you could call Monaco out of the equation now we just have to take on Leon, who have beaten us twice this season if they hadn't beaten us twice we'd be way ahead of them which is which is the annoying part we've lost twice to them so not great on our part dynamics wise everything for the first time in quite a while is in the green the managerial support is usually down in the red a little bit but this time it's up in the green um finally Di Maria has not got an issue with me, which is quite nice. Um, he's finally sort of resolved everything. It's just that Draxler wants some more game time, which he's going to get. But I think he's just picked up an injury, actually. Uh, we'll show you the injuries in a few minutes, but I'm sure he's just picked up an injury. Although saying that, it's not. So uh, I must be lying to you. These other two just want more first-team football, but they're not going to get them. And considering there's not much time left in the season, I don't think they're going to get it either. They'll probably move on in the summer if we do another season. Injury-wise, though, there are a few players out of it at the moment, actually. Pastore, Alves, Mbappe and Motta are all out at the moment. Out for a, a significant amount of time, actually. Mbappe, a sports hernia picked up. He's the most key player that we're missing at the moment after these two that have already uh, been knocked out due to injury. Juan Matt is returning from one of Bruce Thay and uh, Ariola has just come back from his very lengthy injury so expect to see him back in a few episodes time but look at its condition down here don't expect him anytime soon. We've also had our regens come in as well this is the most interesting part the regens um, we've had some great ones now uh, the ones that have come through that are great is this guy Julian Andre I've tweeted this earlier um, because I thought it was amazing. Julian Andre, 14 years old, one star current ability. Look at these stats. For a 14 year old, they are absolutely insane. So if he wasn't playing for PSG, if he'd been a regen for a mid table French side, I reckon he'd be challenging their first choice goalkeeper. Just because he's PSG is not going to be challenging, but he is a sick goalkeeper for the age of 14 years old. And actually, he was not the only one. Another guy came through, Hamza Benali as well also came through 14 years old look how good he is as well for 14 years old it's these mental stats that are very good for 14 years old the physicals are very good as well technicals obviously they'll be improved a lot but these these base mental and physical stats are fantastic for 14 year olds and actually if we look down there's a few guys that are 14 years old and already got one star current ability which is in my eyes amazing right this is a side then that's going to be taking on Twa today now we're playing this formation because it worked effectively against Man City in the first leg so I think we should play it against Man City in the second leg. Um, we'll not go attacking. We'll probably go counter-attacking because we're away from home. But I think the more chance we have to use this formation, the better. So if we use it against Twa, who are bottom of the table, I think we've got a good shout. So trapping goal, obviously, because Ariola just come back from injury. Uh, a back four of Yuri, Thiago Silva. And uh, Biso is a 16-year-old. He's um, he's come from the reserves. He's one of the half-star current ability, five-star potential. Um, but we will use him for now because we want to rest players. And considering we're playing bottom of the table, I think it's a risk we can worth you know, it's worth taking. Uh, Mario starts at right back, but he's suspended for the next game, so that's a bit of a selection nightmare. Uh, Nkuku and Verratti as their um, sort of linking partnership in the midfield. Hatem Benar from the right. Julian Draxler on the left. Juan Mata and Cavani linking up. And that should be enough, I think, to, uh, to see us through his game against Twa. So kicking off our Twa today, but uh, this is a game which I very much expect us to win and win comfortably. If we don't win comfortably here today, then we're clearly doing something wrong in my eyes. 
Crucially, of course, we are resting a couple of players. So I think Mata and Cavani will come off later on in the game. Probably Thiago Silva as well. I think he may come off. But the other players in that, maybe Verratti, depends on what we're doing. We're going to have to use Thiago Silva and probably Verratti as well. So it'll be a choice between those two. It depends how much we want to rest uh, Mata and Cavani, I think. Ben Arthur's got a free kick towards the end of his half now. And, and Cuckoo is there at the far post to put it in the back of the net. I was getting worried there because... We can't afford any more slip-ups. And a game against Twa, who are bottom of the table, if we scroll down, see how far they are bottom of the table. Um, it's half-time now, so I'll show you in a minute. But we can't be slipping up in games like this. Uh, it's just important that we have to win these games now. So if we scroll down to the bottom of the table then, uh, how far are Twa behind everyone else? Uh, if it wants to scroll down, doesn't really want to. Uh, they're only two points behind Lille, I suppose, which isn't actually that bad. But they're bottom of the table for a reason, and we should be beating them more comfortably than 1-0 at 50 minutes into the game. So... Although we're playing a rotated side, we should be still dominating, I think, in my opinion. Ben Arthur on the ball, though, is trying to change that. He puts it towards Matthew, puts it towards Cavani, and Cavani's shot is saved by the goalkeeper, and he should have done a lot better there, really. But Diouf made a great save, and Verratti has picked up an injury, so I think this is swimming him off right away. We'll take him off for Rabiot, because we want to rest nine goals as much as possible for the game midweek, because he needs the rest, really. And Kuku on the ball then gets tackled uh, there, but it's only cleared as far as Mbiso. Uh, Verratti on the ball now as he puts it out towards Draxler. Draxler puts it into middle, and Cavani is there to make it 2 0. It's slightly more comfortable now that we're 2 0 up. I expect at least another three or four goals in this game before anything happens. And I love this part about the game now. We scored a goal after we've said we want to make some tactical changes, but they've not happened yet. Do I want to proceed with those tactical changes? Yes or no, because of the goal. I do in this case, but it's nice in some cases when you score a goal and then you've made the changes already and you can't change it back and say, oh no, well, let's keep on the pitch now. So I like this change in the game. It's really nice. Right, changes now then. Who are we definitely going to need for the game coming up? We're definitely going to need Cavani. So we'll take him off, I think. Um, we'll give Neymar a little bit of a run out. He, he kind of deserves it, I think. Um, he can have a little run before the game. Juan Mata is going to be a player that we'll use in the next game as well, but also Thiago Silva. But if we look at the difference in condition, Juan Mata probably needs to come off. So I think we'll take him off and we'll have to bring on Di Maria for the last 10 minutes or so. With a few seconds left on the clock, Neymar's been put forward and his shot just saved by the goalkeeper there. It should have gone back then there. It should have been 3-0. But I think that, or this corner at least, is going to be the last action of the game. The corner's put in. It's cleared by Twa. And the referee's not blown for full time yet. I mean, we've played six minutes or five minutes of added time yet. If we're going to grab a goal, let's grab another goal now. But we're not. It doesn't matter. We've won the game. <sighs> Personally, I'm not very happy with this result, really. I mean, we should have done a lot better, in my opinion. But in order to keep the boys happy, I'm going to have to go calmly. That was a good performance. Well done, boys. Now, unfortunately, Drax has picked up an injury for two weeks. So he's out for the Man City game. Also, Verratti is out for, for three days. He'll be on the bench, at least, I think. Uh, that's a little bit of a worry, actually, because he is a player that we need. And, of course, um, we can't actually play Seri because due to restrictions on picking players for Europe, and he's already played some European football, I think. We have to... Although he's played in the Europa League, we can only bring in a certain amount of players from the Europa League. So that was the issue there. So he's not actually registered. So we may have a little bit of a trouble uh, in the midfield against Man City. I don't know if anyone else has been getting this as well, but this uh, this calendar bug where sometimes it just doesn't show you anything on the calendar at all, which uh, isn't very nice. I don't like that at all. What the hell? Celtic currently have a 6-0 advantage over Bayern Munich in the Champions League knockout stages. Am I reading that right? They genuinely beat Bayern Munich 6-0 at home. What the heck? I mean, look at that. That, that is Celtic beating Bayern Munich 6-0. Jeez. I mean, fair play. Fair play, Celtic. That's incredible. Can they do it again or will they beat in 7-0? We'll find out in a second when we uh, control, uh, control, continue the game. Jesus Christ, they won 6-3. 6-3? Oh, no, they didn't. They lost 3-0. Uh, my bad. Not entirely sure what I was looking at. It shows the... It doesn't show the actual result from the game. It just shows you the, the, the leg overall, which is a little bit annoying, if I'm honest with you. But, you know, it's not too bad, I suppose. I can deal with that. Right. Well, as you can see, two suspensions and an injury. Uh, not very good going forward in this, so I'm going to have to do some work on the team very quickly. All right, then. This is it. This is the side that's going to be taking on Man City today. Kevin Trapping goal. A back four of Kazawa, Thiago Silva, 
Kimpembe, who actually is going to play as a as a ball playing defender on cover for now. Can he can he swap with Thiago Silva? Does that work any better between the two of them? Kind of a little bit. And then Marquinhos can play right back, so I'm happy to let him be there. As as of course Mario is suspended and uh, Dani Alves is injured. Verratti and Nangolan combine in the middle there. Verratti a little bit low on energy, but he'll be fine for a good 70 minutes or so. Di Maria on that right hand side behind Juan Mata. Can they swap round actually? Does that work any better for the two of them? Not particularly. Uh, but they're playing in those positions. Neymar is that inside forward on support, and uh, Cavani is that attacking forward. Well, advanced forward, actually, isn't it? Not. Also, I do want to move it down to standard. Standard and flexible, I think. I think it's a bit too risky going attacking away from home, but I don't want to invite too much pressure by going on counter. It's a little bit tricky, but I think standard flexible should be okay for us. I mean, I'm actually very nervous for this game coming forward. Really, really nervous because it hangs in the balance here. You know, a nil-nil draw is enough. We've got the goal. An away goal would be absolutely incredible. An away goal is all we need. And then I feel like we should be guaranteed a place in the in the next round. But, of course, a Man City goal could change all that now. As, although, their free kick wasn't very good. And now we're on the counter-attack as Cavani comes forward. If he can offload it to Verratti. If Verratti can get it through to Di Maria. And Di Maria can put a good ball into the middle. Tinta, what a goal that was. Di Maria ball in towards Mata. His 10th of the season. And we're now 2-0 up on aggregate. 1-0 up on the night. And away goal. They've got to score three in order for them to qualify. And if I'm being honest with you, I can't see them doing it. Bernardo Silva on the ball now, through to De Bruyne, De Bruyne through to company. Man City trying to build for now, they're getting a good attack going in. De Bruyne's shot is only just wide, that was that was very close. Another highlight now coming from Man City now, De Bruyne on the edge of the area, once again through to Stefan Defoe, through to Thierry and Thierry, or the, the, well, I can't pronounce his name, I'm just going to call him Thierry, but he's managed to bring one back from Man City now, 15 minutes into this game. And that's that's slightly worrying. I mean, the game is still early on. They've still got to get two more to guarantee themselves a win. But it, it, it does it does rock me a little bit because I do think Man City are going to be a strong team, especially as they're at home. And, you know, they're, they're a great team European-wise. So they should be beating us at home, if I'm being honest with you. I reckon they should be beating us. Uh, and they're trying to do that now. Although Nine Golan wins the ball back and Neymar can start a break now as Cavani's on the ball, gets past... Well, kind of gets past some men, but Kazawa now... Unleashed Verratti and Verratti now through to Cavani again. Cavani cutting inside, just just beating off his men really. He's just trying to keep hold of possession. His shot is a, in the end a poor one, but we've not handed possession back to them easily, and we're showing that we, we we can do something. I mean, if we can just hold on now for the rest of this half, you know that that that's a good place to be in. We can go into half time feeling happy with ourselves. Hopefully, his distribution is good. It's kind of good because Verratti is now on the ball, actually. If he found a ball through to Mata, Mata is through. Mata puts it wide of the post. Literally, all he had to do was just get it on target. And it would have gone in there, in my opinion. But he's managed to fluff it up. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We're still we're still technically going through as things stand at half-time now. Well, an early highlight now in the second half. And it it makes me feel uneasy, really. As, as It's Man City coming forward. Raheem Sterling on the ball. Gets it through to Perisic. And luckily for us, he puts it wide. But I'm, I'm getting scared now. I am getting scared. Man City arguably have been the better side this game. In fact, there's no argument about it. They have been the better side in terms of stats and probably chances created as well. Perisic on the ball once again. Uh, beats his man. Puts it in the middle. And Bernardo Silva's there to put it in the back of the net. It's 2-1. This is not what we wanted. Not at all. As things stand, we're still going through... But we just can't let them score another goal. I mean, it's not like we can bring anyone on that's going to change the game, really. I mean, we've not even got enough subs uh, to put on the pitch because of injuries and suspensions and un unregistered players. So this is what we've got. This is the bare bone squad right now. I kind of want to take Verratti off. Can we drop him back a little bit? Drop them back. Him and him and Nangolan. Can we bring Motta on for Verratti? Not... Not great. I mean, he can play as an anchor man. We'll do that for now, I think. We can bring Neymar back a little bit. Bring Mata back a little bit. Leave Cavani up there. Is that too negative too early on? This is my issue. I mean, let's, let's just do it, shall we? Let's just do it. Confirm that. Hope for the best. Oh, God, this is scary. Oh, there's a highlight now. and it, 
it, I'm, it terrifies me now as Mata picks the ball up. If we grab a goal here, I'll be feeling much more comfortable. As Neymar puts it into Cavani. Cavani puts it wide. Just, just get the goal. Just get a goal and we'll be fine. Oh, I can feel it coming and I feel sick thinking about it. De Bruyne a shot. Oh my God, that was that was too close. Do we? I think we do it, don't we? We move down to a counter. We move to structured as well. We have to just have to play to our strength now. As Perisic has his shot cleared off the line there. Oh my goodness. But now we've got a chance. Nine going through to Cavani. We've got men coming on the counter attack. But it's a free kick. Uh, I don't know why. It just was. Just was. Let's leave it like that, shall we? Oh God, another Man City chance now. Just don't. Just don't do this. Fernando, Stefan Defoe, saved by Kevin Trapp. Let's put a shout on. Um, we can shout something that's like, tighten up. Tighten up. I guess I guess that's something we can do. Tighten up, boys. Just tighten up. Cavani's been put forward, though. Uh, Ottomandi gets there just in front of him, though. And now Man City can build from the back once again. De Bruyne out to Bernardo Silva into Fernandinho. Fernandinho gets himself tackled. And nine go. No, no, don't do this. Nine going and sent off. Genuinely the worst thing that could have happened right now. In that case, we bring Mata back. We take him off for, for Rabiot. Rabiot can play there, I suppose. What I mean, what do we do? We bring we bring Marquinhos back as as, as defensive. Uh, we also bring Kazawa back as defensive fullback as well. We have to sit on, on contain now, structured. What else can we do? We'll click play even safer as well. Play even safer sounds like something safe to do. We, we, I mean, we're down to bare bones now. We just have to avoid conceding another goal. Um, it looks like Man City are going to get it. But this is it now. Come on, boys. Oh, it looks like Otamendi might get sent off now, actually. That evens things up a little bit. Otamendi's been sent off there. He had a little foul on, on Cavani. That evened things up a little bit, but... At the same time, I'm still sticking with the exact same thing right now because I'm, I'm, I'm too scared. I'm too scared to change things up. Right. There's seven minutes left. Seven minutes on the clock. We can do this. Five minutes. Four minutes left. We just have to hold on now. Oh, there's a highlight. Don't do this to me now. Kyle Walker on the ball. Kyle Walker with a chance to put it into the middle. Oh, he's hit the crossbar with that as well. Jeez. He didn't even hit the crossbar. It's Kevin Trapp to put it over the bar. It was an on-shot target. Bernardo Silva's ball. Oh, my God. T oh, Torre came, came so close there. Oh, I, I'm, I'm panicking so much. This this is unbearable right now. Six minutes at a time. Jeez. We, how have we justified six minutes? Mendy puts it well wide. I'm, I'm fine with that. If they want to shoot from there all day long, that's fine by me. Six minutes to hold on now. Oh, come on. 96 minutes into the game now. Have we done it? Have, I mean, it's, it's frozen on me. Oh, it was a corner. Please no. Oh, it's been cleared away. Mendy on the ball. That's it. It's full time. Oh, we've done it. We've actually done it. We've lost them the night. But due to sheer luck and perhaps some, some tactical nous from me in the side and the boys we've somehow come through that and got through to the quarterfinals 23 shots to nine shots we've been absolutely outclassed here by man city but we've done enough that doesn't matter i reckon we go a good win boys well done um they'll actually look happy with that i thought i was going to be a bit of reverse psychology and they'd be really crossing me but they are happy with that so we've come through and we've won oh i'm happy i'm happy matters out for a week but but do i care because I mean, we've won £5 million from that. That's great. We need that money, to be fair, because we're losing money quite a lot. I assume at some point the board will just pump loads of money in, but we are losing money at about £10 million a month at the moment, so it's not great. There's still quite a while to go, actually, until we draw for the, the quarterfinal Champions League, so you'll see next time who we're playing. But next time, we're going to be playing Bordeaux in the, uh, the Coupe de la Ligue final. Make sure you join me for that, because that's going to be a huge game. So thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Jusque dans vos bras, égorgez vos fils, vos campagnes. Tu veux cet ordre d'esclaves, de traite et de rois conjurés. Pour qui c'est ignoble d'un tracé, faire des longtemps préparés. Des coups hors d'étrangères, ferait la loi dans nos foyers.